This is one of my, my favorite stories. It's one of faith, love, and of overcoming. Maya Moore was a star WNBA player at the, at the height of her career, and she left it to devote herself to writing an injustice, working to free an innocent man, Jonathan Irons, from prison after 23 years. Jonathan was finally vindicated and free. Maya was there waiting for him to greet him at the prisoner's prison's doors. During that time, their friendship turned into love and now into marriage and now into parenthood. And they tell their story in the perfectly titled book, Love and Justice, a story of triumph on two different courts. Maya Moore Irons and Jonathan Irons. I have to keep calling you Maya Moore Irons. Yes. yes. But it's so it's so wonderful to see you again. I had to pull out the hanky as I was talking to you in the, in the commercial break because it is beautifully written. Yes. And it's so powerful how, especially in the beginning, you, when you alternate chapters in yeah. each of your voices yeah. and to see where you were in your life, where you were in your life, you were, you know, basketball phenom. And then Jonathan, wrongly convicted, imprisoned at the age of 16. You went there. Was it difficult for you, Jonathan, to relive that time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was very traumatic and um, I, had to, I had to go to my, uh, my counselor to kind of talk through, but like the more, the more and more I went through and, and, and read it, uh, the more it helped me get through it. And it just really, because I, I was able to flip a switch and say, I'm not there anymore. I'm right. past that, I'm right. free. Mm -hmm. And did you have to do that and just kind of remind yourself I, because uh, yes. you really, really describe what it was like yes. on those walls. Like there were times I, 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 as, I, as I wrote and, and, and continued to talk uh, about it, about, about our book and our story that I felt like I was in the moment and I just, I, I would have to see a picture or reach out and feel Maya or just just realize that I'm, I'm free. I had to mm -hmm. continually remind myself that. Yeah, because you were sentenced how many years? To 50, 65, actually. 65, yeah. and served 23 yeah. of those. 23 and a half. 23, oh yes, I know, yeah. I know. Uh, I know all know. that you, matters. I know, I know it all matters to you. Maya Moore Irons, <laughs> I'm telling you what, you, you, you were on his team before, you were reading about him. As much as you knew, how difficult was it for you to read? And did you learn some things that you hadn't known, that he had kept from you? Yeah, I think, because our story happened over so many years, you know, I've known Jonathan for almost 15 years, reading it all together was extremely overwhelming. You know, when we're in the journey, in the fight, you're just trying to take it one day at a time, but to read it all together, it just really made me appreciate and be even more inspired by Jonathan's life and by how God put this all together of where I was coming from in my life and where he was coming from in his life and just how it wove together, it still just blows my mind. And you, you do it so well in the book and you can kind of see uh, his work, his hands yeah. in, in, in all of this. I, I've been around you a handful of times. I don't sense anger. And you would, you would think, especially reading yeah. exactly what you went through, yeah. what are your emotions? Why, how have you been able to channel that and, and not mm -hmm. have that type of anger that most people would have? Well. Uh, I lost a lot and the anger and the pain is there but I chose I choose every day to to live being grateful for each day that I have because I'm not promised tomorrow like any day you know we could pass on or something could happen I could still be in prison but I'm free and I want to live in that and rather than trying to chase what I lost and what I don't have and focus on what I do have which is beautiful and wonderful yeah. I'm married I have a son it's like, oh my god I, I know, and I love seeing the, vo the footage yeah. uh, when you just dropped to your knees when he was finally coming out, because it took a long time, even though you had the, the evidence and all that. What have you all learned from, I mean, because you, you, you fell in love. You started off as, as true friends. As you said, you've known each other for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Let me start with you, John. What did, what did you learn once you could all be together, once you both could be together? What did you oh, learn man, Maya, about her? The great and mighty Maya Moore <laughs> is a sweet, loving and nurturing person who's my best friend in the moment and shows up mm -hmm. and is present. Mm -hmm. I learned how talented he is. I mean, it's one thing to talk on the phone, help him uh, fight for justice, see how of a brilliant legal mind he is, but he's also a great uh, gatherer of people, team builder, business starter, father, friend, 
I mean, leader shepherd, like his mm -hmm. shepherd's heart for his people. It's just been so beautiful to watch because I also have a shepherd's heart. You do. But to know I don't have to shepherd everything. You know, sometimes as women, we feel like, oh, we got to do it all. But it's like, no, I can rest because I have a partner and that rest is what I've been really sweetly surprised by. <laughs> and now parenthood. Oh boy. Oh, come on, JJ, Man. JJ, what is that like to be a daddy? Man, a blast every day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm getting emotional to think about it, man. I, I, there was a time I, I, I thought I would never have a child, but I, I got a beautiful, healthy, thriving son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you do because you did not have that. No. Yeah, I know, and that's why you become so emotional. Yeah. And so you want to. I didn't think I would have one mm -hmm. because I was in prison. I thought that time had passed and I, I, I had come to terms like, I may be here forever. I may never, never have a child. Mm hmm. And then you've got this, he slobbers and everything. Oh, you know, like, man. <laughs> in your eyeball and everything. <laughs> it's all, puts his mouth on your nose. <laughs> and for you, Maya, to be a yeah. mom. It, the joy. I just, you hear it all the time of, you wait till you become a parent, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you become a parent, and you're like, okay, I get it. Just the, the, the you'll do anything for this little human. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the joy and the purpose um, of just raising him. It's just such a privilege. <sighs> and our, our days are just so sweet yeah. because of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you had a good example with your mother. And I want folks to read the book because that letter Jonathan, that you wrote Maya's oh. mother when you were in yeah. jail, woo, that, that's worth just picking up the yeah. book. <laughs> um, but, 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 but before we go, because every time I see you, mm -hmm. okay, you know, people know you, UConn, you know, it's college basketball season, they remember all the championships that you won with Gina Oriema. They remember Minnesota winning the WNBA championships and just all the that you have done and to be at the height of your career and to put it on hold mm -hmm. to help right a wrong. Where are you now with your basketball career? Well, I think it is time to put a close to the pro basketball life. You know, I walked away uh, four seasons ago, but I wanted to officially retire. Um, this is such a sweet time for us and our family and the work that we've done. I wanna continue that in this next chapter. I wanna to continue to be present at home for my community, for my family, little baby for Jonathan, but also doing work with Win With Justice, our nonprofit to continue to raise awareness about prosecutorial reform and how we can have a safer and healthier communities. So that's what I'm moving into, but. Good for you. Hanging it up. Yeah, I know, but that that other court that you're going to. Yeah. Thank you both so very much. I want people to know that love and justice is available tomorrow. I think just like Maya and Jonathan, readers will ask themselves one of the most important questions they can after reading this book, am I living out my purpose? Mm -hmm. They both are. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.